Hey guys, how's it going? Miso here, back with another Exos Heroes video. And I know two videos in less than 24 hours, that's crazy. Um, but there's a lot to talk about today. Um, and I wanted to talk about the new unit, Hotter Than the Sun Scarlet. Um, and whether or not I think it's worth it to pull her. So let's kind of go over her skills first and kind of start judging from there. So her first skill passive is mana utilization two, not three. So that's very important to note. Um, so it's basically the same as Bathory's, like the, the base skill itself, um, except it's not as strong because it's number two instead of three, because she is a technically a four star fate core. Um, so she, it increases attack based on the mana count of allies and it gains mana if mana count of allies is 10 or more on own turn. So that's really good. It helps her gain mana, but um, in terms of comparing to Bathory, right, I'm going to draw a lot of comparisons between the two units because they're pretty similar um, in what they do um, in terms of what their attack skills and skill set is. Um, Bathory is also, because it's mana utilization, mana utilization 3, it gains mana if the enemy's mana is um, 10 or more as well. So she has um, that area over Scarlet, so he's better than Scarlet in that area. Now, the Shield Investigator, cool, helps you do more against Monomos, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for Ice Shower and Summer's Blessing. So, if the caster has a removable buff, recovery, or positive effect applied, each valid attack imbues Frosty Bolt on targets for three turns. So, basically, if you have a buff, then you have Frosty Bolt, which applies basically the freeze effect on the um, enemy for three turns. So they can't do anything for three turns. They're basically stunned. And the cool part about this um, section, this section of our skill, right, is that the second part, Summer's Blessing, you start the battle with um, frost damage immunity. So your entire team, your, all your allies and yourself, I believe, I think it looks like, yeah, to all allies, gets frost damage immunity. What that means is the next instance of frost damage you take is ignored. So if you know Bathory drops her second skill on you, it doesn't do any damage, which is great. Um, and then it buffs allies attack by 50% for nine turns when that frost immunity shield is removed, which is awesome. So what that means is when that immunity gets removed, you get an attack buff, but that also means Ice Shower becomes active and you are able to have that Frosty Bolt on you. Now, I don't have the unit, so I can't really test it, but I also think that you might have, depending on whether or not the Summer's Blessing is a buff um, that counts as a removable buff, you might be able to have Ice Shower before, but my hunch is that you don't. But either way, that's cool. Um, the first skill, 178% uh, damage to all enemies, which is cool. Um, not great in PvP, unfortunately, because it does AoE damage and not nuking damage, like not huge damage. So Dragon Blood's gonna proc, Wrath's gonna proc off of this. You don't wanna use this in PvP. Second one, Passionate Heat of Destruction. So 357% damage to all enemies and it's burst as well, which is really great. Because if you compare it to Bathory's, right? And Bathory's is the skill that, you know, people use to kind of, they, they charge up their mana and then burst everybody, right? And then kills everybody, breaks shields and stuff like that. So it's the same percentage damage as Leviathan, which is really great. That means in terms of breaking shields, her potential is about the same as Bathory's. Now Bathory has a 102% uh, damage to all enemies first skill, and that only costs one mana, but they pretty much do about the same thing. I'd say that Bathory might be in PvP probably a little bit worse because she opens up with it because it's so easier, it's easy for her to get that mana for it. Um, but it also in a way is good, and I'll explain that a little bit later. But in general, I'd say for PvP, Bathory's skill, like attack skills themselves, are equal or maybe even a little bit worse than um, the what? What's her face? The uh, hot in the sun, Scarlet. Now, I'm saying all these great things about her. Do I think it's worth to pull her? And that answer is no. But you're like, yo, Miso, you just said it's, you know, everything about her skill kit is like, you know, better or, you know, about the same as Bathory's, right? 
Well, not everything. So, of course, I mentioned this earlier, mana utilization 2 instead of 3. That means she's going to get mana slower than Bathory. Um, and with her skills, you know, her max burst skill being 5, and you burst means that you want more mana, right? That means it's going to be harder to charge up. So you're going to be dealing less damage overall with this skill compared to Bathory. So that, that sucks. And in terms of her passive, the Ice Shower, I don't think it's really that strong. Um, so let's look at it this way, right? So it's a three turn stun, but the turn is for every unit that goes. So even if you stun an entire team, the entire enemy team, it means that if their entire team goes, then there'll still be two, like let's say you stun them and then their next, their units, their five units are up next, right? So it goes, yeah, so the next five units are up. So it'll go one, two, three, and then the last two will be able to move. So it's technically not that good. And how often is that that's going to happen, right? It's usually like one, two, their units, and like three, four, your units, and like five, their units. So it really is only like a one stun for like one person or two people, if you even if you time it really, really well. So not that great um, for that. Um, and then in terms of Summer's Blessing, Frost Damage Immunity, you might think, oh wow, that's really cool. That basically counters Bathory, right? She does big AoE frost damage nukes. And, you know, you can prevent that. Well, sort of. So Bathory, as I mentioned earlier, one of the things is that she has a first skill that only costs one mana. So what's going to happen is most of the time, she's just going to use her first skill and get rid of that shield. And then later on, she will use her Leviathan and burst. And so that's not really that great. And that's of course when you're going up against a CPU battery, right? When you yourself are using a battery against an enemy, then you know you could just wait it out. You could kill the other units, you can use your first skill, or not your first skill, your auto attack on them and get rid of the shield. So it's really easy to manipulate. So I don't think she's gonna be that great for defense either. Um, so with that, all in all, oh yeah, let's just talk about the uh, attack buff as well. That's really strong. I think that part's really strong. But of course, it means that you have to have gotten that broken. And sometimes you might not have it broken. Sometimes there might not be a bathroom on the other team. You don't get that. And then you end up having a unit that basically you can only use the auto attack because you don't want to use this because you're going to trigger Wrath and it's hard to charge this up. So basically you're just gonna be using for a passive, which is also situational. So I I would say that she is one that you can skip. Now, if you're really, I guess, into tag and making sure your tag teams are strong, I think that you could pull on her because she could be a strong tag unit because you can position her in a way where you're not going up against the Bathory or you're not going up, up against, um, actually you want, well, you're not going up against a matchup, you know, that doesn't have um, any water units, right? Any ice units. So you could do that. And, you know, in the end, you could position her also against a team without any fake core, uh, you know, the guardian units with no dragon blood. But yeah, yeah and there's all so many ifs that, you know, make me feel like it's just not worth the pool. I think you should save up your... Um, your Zez because there are other summer units coming out and this one's also just a black border, right? There are gold border units coming out. Save for those, they're probably gonna be much better. I think they all have this passive as well, the Ice Shower Summer Blessing. So don't pull for Scarlet. Unless of course you like care design, right? If you like care design, you know who am I to tell you not to pull for? But in terms of just like being efficient, probably not. Alright guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Leave comments in the comment section below for any video, future videos you want to see or any questions you have or any comments. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Tell me why. And if you really enjoyed my content and want to see more, I'd appreciate a sub. It definitely motivates me a lot. Again, I'm close to 1,000. Hopefully we can get there soon. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace out.